Hi. Today we're going to be exploring what your options are on your uh, printed receipt. So you'll notice here I'm using a demo Clover account. So if uh, you're seeing more things than here than you would in your own dashboard, don't be alarmed. Uh, we may have extra stuff here and in the sidebar. But where you're going to go is to the accounted setup at the bottom left on your left hand uh, menu. And then under transactions, payment receipts. So we'll go into there. Here we are looking at all the options you can do to customize your receipt. So first of all, you can have it so that it automatically prints the customer receipt after each order so that you don't have to uh, wait and press the button, speed things up, and it'll just automatically print. You can even opt to, to skip the, the receipt screen so you can just go right to your next transaction. You uh, can allow customers to opt into your marketing so after, during the sale process, they'll be able to check a box and then they'll be added to your customer database and it'll be indicated that they've opted in and so you'll be able to send them marketing and promo uh, emails and stuff in the future. You can have items marked as printed once uh, after, the, after the bill's been printed. And then here's where things get a little more fun. So you can have a custom header text added to every um, every receipt or a custom footer. So here you can write things like, uh, thanks for, for your business, see you soon, things like that. As well as you can have it so that you can have your logo on your receipts as well. You can use the business, your business logo that you may have already updated or upload uh, a custom image. Your business logo will have been back in setup, business information. If you had already uploaded a business logo, then you don't need to re-upload. You can just say, I'm going to use that logo. So you can choose that or a custom image. And this is printed on the receipt as well as visible on the online receipt if it's emailed or texted to them. Next, you can have uh, the note that's been added to the order. You can have that printed on the receipt. Uh, you can have the cashier name and the light items visible as well. Show modifiers or other options, or group them. The footer we already talked about, you can have the, the, the URL printed on the receipt. So if they receive the printed receipt, they can, and they wish to share it online or, or, uh, or view it online, this is the receipt they would, this is the URL that they would go to, and this is the URL that would have been texted or emailed to them if they opted for, for getting sent the information that way. Uh, it may not be really necessary on a printed receipt, but it's there as an option. Barcode as well. Now, this is useful because, for example, with the Clover Flex, uh, with the built-in barcode scanner, this is an easy way to pull up the transaction if, uh, if doing like a refund, let's say. So your customer comes back in, needs to do an uh, exchange or a refund. If the barcode is printed on the receipt, all you got to do is scan that. The transaction will pop up. Then you can tap refund or go ahead. Uh, if you opt not to have the barcode there, you'll just have to um, you'll just have to look up the transaction in the transactions app. You can have the customer's information printed on the on the receipt if it's been added to the to the sale. And for minis, you can have extra space put down below if you'd like. One thing to keep in mind is that with all of these options, from custom header to the logo to the custom footer, adding cashier name and the URL and the barcode, this can make the receipt fairly long. So these are options that are available to you, but you may not want to take advantage of all of them because then you might find yourself replacing the paper more often. All of these options are of course also available to, uh, to be modified on the machine itself. You would go to, uh, as long as you're logged in as an admin with access, you go to the setup app and then you'll see payment receipts in the list. And then when you tap that, the screen you're looking at looks very much like the screen here. So you have all the same options that you can, you can customize right there on your machine. Thanks so much, and let us know if you have any questions.